And welcome everybody to The Kiosk Presents here in Buffalo and Western New York. You know, we love having stars on our show. And today's a really, really good opportunity for you to meet uh, one of the stars of Emperor. And that's coming out, as a matter of fact, it's out in theaters everywhere right now. And we have the one and only Matthew Fox. Matthew, welcome to The Kiosk Presents. Thank you for having me. I got a little excited here because I know you're um, working with Tommy Lee Jones and another movie going to be with Brad Pitt. How do they like uh, uh, starring alongside of you? <laughs> okay, they, they set me up to do that to you. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But anyway, now we love you. <laughs> Tell us about the part that you play. Uh, this is post-Surrender Japan, World War II, so it's not just another war movie. It's about everything that went on after the surrender. Tell us about the movie a little bit and the part you play. Yeah, it's, uh, it takes place, um, you know, in 1945. Uh, the Japanese surrendered on August 14th of 1945, and within a couple of weeks after that, uh, MacArthur lands in what's left of Tokyo with uh, a small group of his key aides and they uh, they set up um, operations out of the Daiichi building in Tokyo and he is given you know his responsibility is to begin the occupation of Japan he's sup uh, the supreme commander and also to apprehend a blacklist of uh, war criminals that are going to go on trial and he's also given the responsibility of determining whether or not Hirohito is going to be put on trial for war crimes as well, or whether he's going to maintain the emperorship and, uh, as, we, as we help rebuild Japan. He then uh, really turns that responsibility over to uh, a guy by the name of Bonner Fellers. He was a brigadier general and, and really MacArthur's right-hand man. And uh, the movie in 1945 is really about that investigation. Fellers has 10 days to make this determination about Hirohito. It's, it's, a, it's a very difficult proposition. And uh, so that's, that's, what, that's the present time of the film in 1945. Well, they won the war. The question now is, do they punish the emperor or not? Does that create more, uh, more problems because of the reaction of the Japanese people, I suppose? But, you know, and it sounds like a lot of political intrigue. But two of the ladies here in studio have a theory why you're in the movie. Oh, yeah. What, what is that theory? They needed somebody to pull off the romantic scenes with the mysterious school teacher. Is that a good theory? Uh, I, I mean, I, I certainly was attracted to the, to, the, to the love story in the film. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, the juxtaposition between these two people from very different cultures falling in love, uh, Aya and Fellers fall in love in 1930, and then their, their relationship is torn apart by those two very cultures going to war. And uh, I thought that it was um, just a beautiful story. I was really moved by it, and uh, I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to bring that up, Matthew, so the ladies don't think this is just a war movie. There's a lot of... Um there's a lot of intrigue, but there's romance to it, too. And absolutely, and, and, absolutely. Yeah. All right, and every, everyone here in Buffalo loves you, by the way, uh, from, the, from the, everything from the series Lost uh, to Speed Racer, Vantage Point, Alex Cross. Uh, you got a lot of fans here in Buffalo, New York. Well, that's cool. I appreciate that very much. All right, and by the way, when you come to Buffalo, chicken wings are on us here at the Chaos Presents. You got that? <laughs> I'll take you up on that. Love chicken wings. <laughs> Extra spicy. Well, thank you very much, Matthew. Uh, everybody, it's Matthew Fox. The movie is Emperor. It's starring in theaters everywhere. It's, it's ready to go. It's an exciting movie about post-surrender uh, Japan. And it's got a lot of intrigue. It's got General MacArthur. It has a love scene, uh, well, a whole love theme going on, romance. And uh, you don't want to miss it. And thank you, Matthew, for joining us here on The Kiosk Presents in Buffalo. Yeah, thank you for having me.